Today, I have a highly requested topic to answer here on Ask a Coach, and that is, can you manifest for someone else? If you've been dying to know the truth about this, then keep watching. Welcome back to Ask a Coach. My name is Jen Stevens. I'm a holistic manifestation coach and creator of Recode Manifestation Academy. And I'd love to welcome you to my YouTube channel today. This is where I create a brand new training for you each and every week, all about the arts of mindset and manifestation and how to use those things together in order to create your extraordinary life. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, then be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I've received this question from a bunch of people, so I'm not going to go ahead and list out all the names. Um, but the question I'm going to answer for you today is, can I manifest for someone else? So a lot of times I see what happens out there. I always get questions from you people trying to manifest a specific person. And what you really want is to manifest them doing or saying certain things to you. So there's a little bit that you can play with here to try to control certain outcomes in your life, but I'm going to say the majority of the answer for can I manifest for someone else is the answer is no. But I'm gonna put a big preface here. Yes, you can try. Yes, you can go ahead and do that. The thing is, I'm going to ask you, why do you want this? So what I teach in manifestation is that you can control the inside. Even on the road to your manifestations, you can't always control what is going to happen to you. You can't control necessarily when things are coming or how they're going to come to you. You can't manifest away the mistakes and the hardships along the way. Life is always going to be full of surprises. We as humans are here to be problem solvers. We are are not here to live a life that is completely safe, boring, and only containing happiness. We need a little bit of what Abraham calls contrast. We need that darkness. We need those, you know, areas of lack to shine a light on the good things and to make the good times feel really great. A lot of times when it comes to manifestation, many of us, myself included, can be a little bit of a perfectionist. And when we carry that energy over to an extreme, that is when we try to start to control and manipulate the people around us. So I have given you tips definitely on how to manifest a specific person, but in general, I try to stay away from manifesting things for other people. The thing is, you can only control your energy. You can only control your space. So when there's somebody out there in the world that doesn't want the things that you want, you can try to manifest it. You can get your mindset behind it. You can, you know, really try to control your reality to the nth degree, but you're kind of moving upstream. So I'm going to really ask you to check in with why that is. Sometimes when this comes up, it's manifesting a specific person. Sometimes this is about a parent trying to manifest something for their child. Sometimes this is about I'm going to manifest good health for my friends. You can still do that. You can set an intention that I want my friend to recover from their illness. I want my son to get accepted to the school. You can set those intentions. But the thing is, you can only ever control your side. So you can get behind the mindset that this person is going to get well. And you can get behind the mindset that this other person is going to fall in love with you, or you can get into the mindset that your son is going to be accepted at this school. This is the only thing you can control. Your magnetism and your energy are not going to take that other person under their wing. So for example, if you are trying to manifest somebody falling spectacularly in love with you and that person is already in a relationship, they are probably not thinking about you that often. They are in this other relationship. They are putting their energy into growing this other thing. It is really going to be difficult for you to change your tune. Yes, in the world of Neville Goddard, everything is you pushed out, meaning that you have manifested everything in your reality. I don't 100% agree with this because I do not believe that you specifically have manifested things into the world like poverty and racism. Those things are things that we have collectively manifested because of the way humanity is and it is our responsibility to collectively heal them and get our way out of them. The same thing applies to other people. You can look at somebody else and decide what you want. You can set the intention. You can do all the mindset work up here, but if that person is not 
on board, you are not going to probably be able to manifest for them. Manifestation is about a match between your energy and the thing that you want. And when you can get your subconscious mind on board and your words and your thoughts and your actions, that is when things start to come into your life. So if your son doesn't want to go to the school that you want him to go to, or this person is in another relationship, or basically you're just trying to manifest anything for somebody else, again, you can only control yourself. You cannot get inside that other person. You cannot heal their traumas. You cannot reprogram their subconscious beliefs. You cannot change their words or change their actions. I don't want to tell you specifically no. You can give it your best shot. There's a lot of things that we can do. And sometimes, you know, if you set the intention for something small, like I want this person to text me or phone me back, sometimes we can manifest things like this into our world. But when it comes to bigger things, like I want to manifest perfect health for this person who has a terminal illness, that is probably going to be well beyond your scope for a number of reasons. First of all, that person is, again, an independent person with their own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, etc., and it is going to be difficult for you to change any of that. Second, because when it comes to things like death and, and big life events, like there's so much more behind the scenes than we realize. Like most of us, I believe, were brought here with a series of different endings that we can kind of opt into or out of, but the point of the story at the end of the day, we are all going to have certain things in life that we can't get out of. And one of those things is definitely when we are going to die. Not to bring this whole video down. <laughs> in general, when it comes to manifestation, I want you to feel confident. I want you to feel powerful. I do not want you to get frustrated and think the whole thing doesn't work. Therefore, my big answer for this question is no. Do not try to waste too much of your time and energy on this. Again, if you really feel called to do it, set your intentions, do what you can, but also understand that there's so much more going on behind the scenes. Sometimes your son getting into a different school is exactly what was supposed to happen. Sometimes the person you think should be in love with you is really not supposed to be in love with you and in fact should be exiting the scene so the person you are supposed to be with should arrive. And sometimes we just need to get out of our own way and surrender to the moment, surrender to let people be who they are, surrender to let human life happen. So I realize that this answer is probably not what everybody wants to hear, but honestly, the more that you can concentrate on the things that you can change, the more empowered you are going to feel. If you want to, go ahead and give it a shot. I'm not going to tell you specifically it will never work, but in general, I don't think it does. I think there's too many factors working against you and that your energy and your time could be better spent on doing something for you. Go back, start to ask yourself what you really want that you can change and see what you can manifest from there. Okay, so that is it for today's training. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that that clears up the confusion, the answer being yes and no. <laughs> there are no coincidences. So if you watch this video today, I know that there was a tiny nugget of information in there that you were meant to find. My challenge for you is that you go ahead and actually apply it to your life instead of just clicking through and watching video after video and forgetting everything you learned. If you enjoyed this training today, please do me a favor and give me a like. And other than that, I will see you back here in next week's episode. So until then, happy manifesting for yourself and I will see you soon.